Hello family, I hope you're well. Uh, this is Mary Ann. Uh, and I'm going to be addressing my followers and friends. Please share this information. Uh, I, I promised some of my followers that I will be giving them tips on cryptocurrency and um, investing. I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own research. Uh, I have nothing to gain from this information. It's free. You don't have to invest anything until you understand what you're doing. Uh, this is something that I came across uh, some time back and I've been uh, training and teaching myself. A lot of information is available on Face, on YouTube and on Google. So you can find all this information uh, that I'll be telling you about on your own, on Google. And that's what you're supposed to do because my my job here is to give you direction on where to study. And the reason I started doing this is that I found out that most of my friends have no idea what cryptocurrency is and they have no idea what blockchain is. And unless you know what to look for, you won't look for it. So I would suggest uh, that you keep uh, keep in touch, stay tuned, uh, follow me on Instagram, I am underscore Mary Ann, and on Facebook, uh, Mary Ann Gachukia, and share this information. I'm not an expert by or any means. I'm just a lay person. Uh, but I know that it makes sense when you see somebody that you know doing something and you can relate to them. You know, it is one thing hearing a stranger telling you what to do than somebody that you know. And uh, I had to do my own research. And I can tell you why it makes sense to me to understand cryptocurrency. Uh, sometime back while I was in Kenya, I was... Uh, Kenya is very advanced in digital money, uh, something we call M-Pesa. And it, that is how they use uh, uh, money, uh, you know, using their phones. Uh, so I knew about uh, M-Pesa came before Cash App, I think, and uh, Zelle and um, Venmo. Uh, Kenya is one leading country that is way advanced in using money uh, without paper, you know, without the paper money. So they transact on their phones. Even Mamamboga, who, who is the person who sells vegetables in the market, has M-Pesa. So I don't know anybody in my country, Kenya, that doesn't have M-Pesa. So that is to show that uh, money can be transacted digitally. And in fact, Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates have been to Kenya to study M-Pesa. So if any country was to uh, to go all crypto, I was expecting that Kenya would be the first country to go all crypto. But we know that other countries have already done it. Uh, but it will not be difficult for a country like Kenya to go all crypto because they're already used to transacting without uh, using uh, fiat currency which is something that you also need to understand. Fiat currency is the money we are used to right now. The, uh, the, the money, US dollars or the currency in your local uh, countries. But why it made sense to me is that I travel and the idea of, uh, you know, if I leave Kenya with my Kenya shillings, I have to change that money to another currency or for example, USD, before I, I come back here to the U.S. And <laughs> when I go back home, I have to change my U.S. dollar to the Kenyan currency. And in between that transaction, I'm losing money for real. So it really doesn't make sense. So if, for example, you have a stopover in, um, in the Netherlands or you have a stopover in Dubai, you can't use the Kenyan shilling, for example. Uh, most countries use the USD. But really, your local currency is useless when you go to another currency, uh, country. So if you're traveling in many countries, like these YouTubers who travel from country to country, or if you're a businessman, you have to keep changing your currency to the currency of the country you're, you're going to if they don't accept the U.S. dollar. So that is very inconvenient. And I was asking myself, why can't we have a system that allows everybody to use the same amount uh, uh, currency without having to go to the exchange and change money? Because in the process, you lose money because you have to pay exchange fees. And that's one question I asked myself. That is before I even understood Bitcoin. And then the other question is, 
if i have to send money from the us to my country in the past i had to use the swiss system which took several days and in the process i get charged a lot of money and in the process i also don't even know where my money is so if i'm sending a lot of money doesn't matter how much uh before western union and before maybe moneygram if i have to send a lot of money it takes maybe a week three four days and in between that time, I don't even know where the money is. They, they can't know where the money is. When it goes there, when the money finally gets to my country, they use the exchange rate of the day. So in the process, I'm being charged exchange fees and I'm also losing money because I don't know what the exchange rate will be when the money finally gets there and the person receiving it is charged again. So it's very inconvenient. It wastes time, it wastes money. So if you need to do something urgently, you can't really get that money sent quickly. Okay, then when we had to use the MoneyGram and Western Union, I believe there's a limit of how much you can send. Even now, we do have some apps that are sending money, like uh, Wave is uh, one of the apps that we use to send money. There's a limit of how much money you can send per day. So you can see that if you're doing big business and moving with money is very inconvenient. The other thing is, if you're moving money, uh, physical money, you have to declare it at the airport or, it's, uh, or, or sometimes you can get arrested for moving with a lot of money. And I know many people have been arrested for moving with a lot of money. And you also understand it's not safe. It's not safe to move with physical money and gold or silver it's not safe to move with digital gold or silver you have to declare it at the airport it could get stolen you could get mugged so i ask myself why can there have be a system where you can move with money in your head or digitally and that is what when i learned about bitcoin and cryptocurrency it all made sense this is what i was looking for in my head because there should be a way of moving money digitally just like we do m -Pesa in kenya or just the way now cash up works but you can move even millions of dollars using cryptocurrency and it's instantaneous so some genius came up with bitcoin and that was a solution in my head that i needed because I can move a lot of money or a little money instantaneously to somebody in Africa in, in less than a minute. So cryptocurrency makes sense, especially if you are a business person, if you travel a lot, uh, if you need money to send money from country to country without moving physical money. In that case, you're not involving the bank. There is no third party validation. There is no middle person. There is no excessive fees. There is no excessive amount of time wasted moving money. So if you understand that, and if you have been inconvenienced by the current banking system of line up to go get your money, or you can only withdraw so much money to uh, in a day, or the, the bank closes at five, so you can't move, go to the bank after five. The bank closes on weekends, so you can't transact your money on weekends. Why, why, why? So that is why cryptocurrency makes sense to me and to many people who understand the need. So the, the way we do uh, finances and, and money is changing. So if you don't understand what is happening, you need to get on the bandwagon and understand cryptography, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Don't worry about Bitcoin and Ethereum so much as to understand the idea of cryptocurrency. Why is cryptocurrency necessary? Why, what is the future of money? If you go online and on YouTube and ask a question like uh, the future of money, you will see a ton of YouTubes videos about it if you go online and search for what is cryptocurrency you will learn what is cryptocurrency and uh, what is blockchain understand what it is that way you know you understand where we are going with money and where we are going with the future of of money 
and it's not just money the blockchain has a wide range of things that are going to be happening in the future but the most important thing and the most important uh, assignment i would like to give you is to understand why we need cryptocurrency so until next time you all have a good day good evening good night